All right, welcome back. So we're gonna try and see if we can make it through this whole qualifier. I believe this is single a limb the whole way through. So, uh, right, it's gonna be a little bit sad to see one of these guys knocked out. But at the same time, Home yeah. Story Cup is quite a prestigious event, so <laughs> it's uh, gonna be good for one of them to advance. Spawning the yeah, top right corner of the map is gonna be Dead Pixels Red Zerg Player True. Ah, oh, Dead Pixels. Shit. What did you say it was? Sorry, sorry stream. I thought I forgot. Um, I'd forgotten, so I went on his Liquipedia, and it said Teamless on his Liquipedia, so Ooh. I just said Teamless. Ooh. But I just, I just remembered when you said it. Ooh, so be uh, Yeah, rip. Uh, yeah, but in the bottom left, we got our blue Siren player playing for MVP. It is Marine King. Still can't call him anything but MKP, man. It's just so hard. <laughs> It's, it's kind of hard, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like they took the K, flipped it 90 degrees, and removed the bottom part, so it's like MVP now. I don't know. <laughs> Too complicated of an explanation, but a T-Rex coming out of him, yeah. uh, Marine King in the last game here. Uh, bold but, move, uh, but you know, mm -hmm. here's the thing. like Players like Marine King and Maru, they use this more like an opener, less than an all-in. So, <laughs> I mean, it I sounds guess. funny to phrase it like that, but we've seen it out of him enough. We've seen it out of him a lot. I wouldn't be shocked if this, how this one plays out. Yeah, and true going with the 15 hatch. And Marine King made the supply depot in his mineral line, by the way, which is a little bit greedy. Like, it could bite him it's, later on. <laughs> if he's worried about the counter attack, yeah. But actually, you know, you bring that up, this might actually be the all-in version then. It sounds silly to freeze this being the yeah. differential, but without the possible wall-off here, a counter attack for true could end the game. And true actually scouts a very typical location here with the Overlord. Uh, as well here to the south, he's not going straight across the map because he's looking for his potential proxies and uh, will not find the barracks built within proximity of his natural. <laughs> yeah, isn't isn't that? No, never mind. I was thinking. Is he gonna go for the ballsy bunker? Oh, he's just to... okay. He's gonna do the backup bunker. Okay, no, come on. You, you yeah, always gotta yeah. do the one that's further back first. Like if you go too front forward, yeah. ooh, this is so risky. Uh, I mean, True doesn't know, so I guess. He might get away with it, yeah, he might just yeah. get away with it. And if, when you get away with it, this is so much stronger, right? Yeah, it actually... Like another 100 minerals to use for the wall off and stuff, so... Yeah. You can almost fully wall this off, too, with enough. Mm -hmm. uh, usually you get worried about the queens on the high ground and stuff, but uh, that's gonna come later. Because the hatchery finishes, and bam, bam, bam. Some two racks action. Now, he did go for the pool first, and I mean, speed was coming out in anticipation of what was probably gonna be Reapers. Oh, he's gonna go for Bro, is it... Oh, is he gonna go Roaches? Oh, this is gonna be so sick if he uses roaches to break this. Ooh. Oh, damn, Char. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me ask you, have you seen this before? Um, I've not see. I've tried it myself, but not. I've not actually seen anyone else try it. Uh, well, maybe once uh, or something like that. But burrowed roaches yeah. in general always make it a little bit giggly because I see uh, Starbuck do weird things with it, right? But uh, mm -hmm. the idea is like good control. You can eventually pick off the SCVs, but more importantly, burn down those bunkers and you just heal up yeah. the damage. You just burrow and hide. Because uh, there's no way Marine King's going to be burning scans, or afford to be able to. Now he's probably going to go, what, I'm imagining 3cc behind this. He's doing so well with his first attack, there's no reason not to. Yeah, it uh, feels like he, um, yeah, there's no reason uh, not to. I mean, he's quite ahead though. Like, he'd be better off not making a third cc but I guess it's hard for him to know that. But Roach is on the way now, six Roaches in total. Oh. He has three larvae in the natural that he used, so. Let me ask you, like, in what way is like a third cc a bad thing? I mean, like he's gonna make two raptors actually, so he's not gonna be a third to see. Well, I mean, it's true he's doing a one base all in, right? He's on. He has thrown up a little bit again, actually, so he's not gonna go fully all in, uh, never mind. Because uh, he's, like, yeah, he's mining with 13 drones and minerals earlier, but yeah, he's up to 17 now, so he's gonna expand behind this for sure, with that 17 magic number. Gonna move one to the natural and have 16 remaining in the main. So, yeah, it's gonna be like a breakout with the roaches and then macro up behind it, so. Interesting. So, it's so irritating just how good marine damage is, even without stamina, even without upgrades. I mean, the yeah. roaches, uh. Oh, wait, he's just gonna go past this. Oh, sick. Yeah. He's gonna use bro to sneak past this. Okay, so now Marine King might be in a bit of trouble at home. There's a bunker coming at the top of the ramp, but the thing is, these roaches, if they can just push off that natural, it kind of buys yeah. true that time that he's lost here in the early game. Uh, the bunkers were evacuated. I'm not sure if he's aware of this. Obviously not. If he were, he'd unburrow and kill them. Yeah, this is why I was thinking that 3rd CC might be a bit too risky, because now at least he's going to have a lot more production back at home to kind of yeah. deal with this, whereas if he had a 3rd CC, he'd be in so much trouble, so he's a lot better off now, but still, it's 6 roaches with Burrow, that's not too easy, but yeah, with the bunker and the wall off. Like the top of the ramp's fine, I think it's pretty safe, he's yeah. even investing in the turret, because he knows he'll need the detection, 
Uh, yeah. True's gonna have to recognize this, but Burrow goes or Scan goes down on top of the Burrow, and while healing is good, it's not that good. Only gets one roach though, so not too bad value for True, and he's gonna re Burrow now. Yo, even burning that scan is gonna nice though. That's uh, 270 minerals less Marine can yeah. have, but Roach yeah. is uh, catching some of the Marines out in the middle of the map. Do you think? Uh, do you think True double expands off this, or do you think he just goes two base all in? Mm. I mean. Uh, he can take a third at a later point. I don't think it's wise to take a third right now because you, you're going to be cutting into your droning then. Oh, uh, don't go ramp like this. Oh, he could have got the depot for free with that overlord instead of this damage, but uh, even with the detection, he saves the roaches at least. Like, it buys him time. They're getting focused down now, of course, but uh, yeah, this is not, not going so hot here for, for true. Yeah. It's third. There's another scan. There's two more scans, so it's definitely not going to be able to get those roaches out of there. I like the Lings, bro, though. I mean, it's going to be a real pain in the ass trying to take this expansion if you have to keep bringing scans to actually land the CC. I wonder why Marine King went back there. Hmm. He had two scans available. I was a bit curious as to why he didn't just kind of go for it there, but... Hmm. But yeah, Birdlings are nice. I guess... Hmm. Yo, know, if he yeah. scans and comes down with the Marines, the roaches will still be... Uh, a problem. They're not like automatically good against marines, but okay, looks like he's just gonna buy the time. Actually, <laughs> he's just gonna say screw it and try to land. I love this move. <laughs> it's just like, uh, you know what? Let's just do it. Whatever. I mean, he doesn't have energy. Oh, wait, what? He, he mules the main. He's just screw it. Whatever. He didn't even use one. I think he's gonna use a scan. turret. I think he's gonna build a turret down here uh, instead. Oh, yeah. Makes sense, I guess. It's cheaper than actually scanning, <laughs> weirdly yeah, enough. Nice, nice, nice move. Yeah. I like it. Okay, so double eagle behind this. So true is gonna be go for that. Uh, you know, two base macroed up like normal, and then take a third. You know, in a short amount of time, should take it pretty soon. But he's gonna get his uh, extra queens out first, get the upgrades going, and not take the third too quickly. Because if you take the third too quickly, you're just gonna cut in, cut into your uh, macro too much. So it's not really gonna be worth it. Uh, I do like that he's actually going for the double tech labs here too. Uh, you know, your stim's already kind of late because of the way you open the game with the two yeah. racks, but uh, yeah. the combat shells comes out at a very early timing, which actually might just be indicative of him looking for a push. Yeah, uh, I mean, this is how he... Uh, I'm trying to think now. Merry-go-round, yeah, he's doing a similar strategy on merry-go-round. Of course, this is after a two rats, but he was on merry-go-round, he was going for a two-base draft as well. He's going CC first into three barracks instead of a fast third CC. So again, he's going for a two-base kind of uh, strat, except he's not really going to be behind this point. It's kind of... I, I, like, Marine King is ahead, I think. Is but see, this, this is... Let me look at the work. It, Mm, well, he, I would hard. workers aside. I still think he's ahead because he's coming with 52 army supply, and True doesn't yeah. even have any banelings. So I mean, this is what I'm saying. Like the the two racks. Okay, it did some damage, and that's great. But he didn't try and go to the main. He didn't try to end the game with it. So Marine King kind of uses this as a bit of an opener to accelerate his lead in the game, which he has certainly yeah. done. Um, now there's 13 banelings on the way. If he spreads well, mm. maybe he'll be able to avoid a lot of this damage. But uh, for true, stim, stim finishing in two seconds, so it's a yeah. big stim timing here, perfectly timed out. So, yeah, yeah we'll see. Yeah, the focus oh. fire on Marine King is sick. You're gonna see him focus fire yeah. these bailings pretty hardcore. Oh. Look at the focus fire! Pops up three or four of them right away, decides to kite back through the rest. Still kiting, still focusing. Three bailings remain, two bailings remain, and there's no more. Oh, there we go, two He's more just two in the back. Yeah, but yeah. is that enough? I don't, it looks like he might be able to hold on. But I think if he stims and focus fires, he doesn't have to run. There's not enough bailings. Drones being pulled, you know it's a little bit scary when. Well, reinforcements. But all these units are deal. now within like one or two bailing shots from being dead. That's Stim. Yeah. Oh, oh the oh, focus fire though is so good out of Marine King! He loses two one of the Marauders, left. but... Oh, True's in a bit of trouble here. Of course, this is his last life. Um, he's gonna clean up this first wave, thank God. But here comes... Well, actually, not that much more. Yeah, so he's gonna hold, but he did lose a lot of workers there. I think he lost at least... Yeah, like almost uh, a total 20, of 17 kills. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so that's very nice from ringing, and the lair starts now. So he doesn't even have some sort of decent tech. Like, sure he's got one one upgrades, but the lair being that late is like baning speed is so far off. So like a meta back push. Uh, you know, in a short amount of time for Marine King, it's gonna be so effective versus no baning speed. You know, he actually like they snuck out a couple banelings burrowed. Wasn't able to use them, but cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Let's see that. I see one there. I don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, see if he uses more or not. Could definitely be good for yeah. the defense. I mean, the problem with connecting to Marine King without speed is that you don't have that speed. You you just can't do it. So, maybe bro <coughs> tactics are the best way to get a connection to the army. Problem is, it yeah. requires a little bit of luck. Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice to see him uh, use that some more now, because he is definitely behind, and um, obviously he must uh, realize that he is. So yeah, some more baning uh, burrow play would be would be cool, because that's one way to get back into the game. If you can trade efficiently, but okay, run by uh, happening right now. He's going to go past the non-existent third base into the natural, I'd imagine. This is kind oh, of a sigh of relief. Lane's kind of awkward in the middle. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, this is sick bait, though. Oh, check yeah. it out. It's mostly marauders, though. So I no, guess. was he go off on the marines? No, he missed it. Oh, true. Oh, maybe he'll get it now. Nope, he's not paying attention because he's busy attacking the command center here with the lings at the third. Yeah. Or the natural. Okay, Baining speed on the way now. Still got a good 60, 70 ish seconds before it finishes, though. We'll see if Marine King will be able to find that window and attack. I don't think there's a way for True to really abuse this right now, but it does put him back in this game finally. I mean, it, it sucks. You should really be on 70 drones at this point. But he's been forcing yeah. so many Zerglings, so many Bandings. In fact, with 22 more Zerglings on the way, uh, it's kind of like he's trying to all in this. Uh, I don't know if that's really the right call. I mean, he's scattering Bandings all over the map. This is so cool. Like, if you can bait Marine King into a bad fight, he'll take really sick Bandling hits, yeah, right? But exactly. You're right. He's only got 10 drones at the third, not droning anymore. So, yeah, it's, he's going to... He's gonna wait for Marine King to attack, yeah, like you said, I guess, and then try to get a good fight and just counter attack and try and kill him. Does he not see this coming? There we no. go. As you say, those Marauders are right there. You should focus these down. It's kind of painful, actually. And we do see a lot of Burrow Banes, actually, like we talked about. He's gonna try and get back into the game a bit that way. You got the uh, three pairs spread out. I think it'd be really cool if he could, but that's a very tall task. Uh, ooh, tries to drop that creep oh. just barely. <laughs> Seriously, like literally, just barely wasn't there in time. Yeah, uh, that was, this. That was Finally puts Marine King on a third base, so mm -hmm. he's already up in supply, his upgrades aren't exactly phenomenal, but uh, now he's got that income to support himself. True actually yeah. uh, supply blocked pretty hard here, after losing that overlord. See this is, look at this two prong attack, this is awkward, is he just, oh he's gonna try and kill the army with the burrow banes, and then counter attack at the same time with two armies? <gasps> oh he's gonna, oh that was he's pretty nice. one. Sorry, trying to come back in time. I was trying to see what he's going to do with the other banlies. There's another two right here. Not looking for it. He has them selected, but attacks. Trade. Soaks a lot of the banlie. Uh, uh, what do I hit so I can get through this depot wall? Uh, but killing SCVs alone isn't going to be enough. He's got to actually like, kill his opponent. I don't know if he can. Marine King might just win this base trade. So many marauders with the armor that Marine King has. A lot of work is Marine yeah. King dying, though, but power of mules. Uh, it's always a factor. And exactly. I, if he, it, I don't think I don't think she's going to win this. Because the problem is, no matter how much damage he does across the map, he has to kill Marine King. The Marine King can always just lift a building. Yeah. Ooh, what a great win of my shot there in this Marine King's natural. It kills a lot of links. You should be able to stabilize back at home while killing the natural of True. So, yeah, 3 CC with mules versus one base sir. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, True has to save his natural, he realizes, but he also realizes that he can't save the natural. So. <laughs> Marode Banlings again. Like, this is so sick out of uh, True. It's just sad that that's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to carry him through this game. Mm -hmm. He's waiting for that clump to come up the ramp. Yeah. And there we go. Nice hit. Beautiful shots. Too bad it's already over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those marauders, man, they're so beefy. They're not dying. And Marines in the back just dealing so out. And so many medivacs as well. There's like six of them, so. Jones can pull into this is kind of a cool move, but that's it. <laughs> Sad yeah. to see you go. He will fall out of the brackets, and Marine King will advance forward. Yeah, Don't not bad at all. Uh, who does this mean he's going to fight next? Marine King fights the winner of Supernova versus Sky High. Okay, cool. Have you seen Sky High before? Or? Not since uh, the last qualifiers, actually. Okay.